So let's say we go to round one, technical interview. Mm -hmm. This is where um, things get tacky. So generally speaking, you have two different types. One is um, on-site and one is um, take-home. So take-home, I would say you want to code in a production-like style. So obviously your task is not going to be a production application, right? Because the time frame is usually two to three hours on paper to complete the task. But you want to not skip steps just because it's a small task. For a, a good example is not declaring constants when you should be and just like hard coding. Magic numbers. String values. Yep. Yeah, magic numbers. Yeah, so for the size of the project, that might, that might as well make a lot of sense, but that's not what they want to see. Mm. They want to see how your code will look like when you join the company. Um, that don't be afraid to litter your code with comments because it's a lot harder to read someone's code than you might think. Like they don't know you personally, so they have to get into your logic. And honestly, if you think about the interview process, the interviewer, right? Like their the job is not an interviewer. It's usually like a senior dev that just needs to review your code to like, you know, give a random assessment, right? So depending on the amount of time and how busy they have, they don't really, they, it's not in their best interest to spend too much time reviewing your code. If they don't understand what the hell your function is doing, they're just going to be like, you know, this doesn't really make sense mm. to me, you know, whether it works or not. It's like, eh. So, so just be sure to litter your comments with code, explaining your Literally logic, code with especially comments? if it's something, you're, yeah, with comments. <laughs> you said like comments logic, Like logic comments. Oh, sorry. Yeah. My bad. The other way around. <laughs> yeah. Comments. On your code, yeah. Even, like, obviously, don't be like, I am assigning variable. Yeah, a. yeah. That's the thing, right? It's yeah. like, <laughs> but your like, code should be explain. self-explanatory. Yeah. Like, I think that's the rule. Yeah. Um, and, like, for, like, junior devs out there is, like, if you're listening to this and you're thinking about how to comment for your code, the most important thing is to realize that the, the less comments you have, the better. Because comments don't actually add value to your code. They're just there to... Well, they're technically a waste of time because they don't add features, right? But the whole benefit of comments is if you have a section of code that is like inherently difficult to explain or you have to, like if you're forced to because of some reason, then add a comment to make it easier to understand. But the best case scenario is if your code is self-explanatory. I think that is like generally the way to go. Um, but one more note mm. I think would be a readme. I actually think readmes are incredibly helpful. Oh, like, I yeah. think read me is like, you know, you say, okay, this is how you get the project started. These are the commands you need to run. Explain all of that in as much detail as possible. And my yeah. opinion is include comments where strictly necessary and try to like kind of document your code using variable names, like correct variable names, function names, um, yeah. correct design patterns, Agreed. that sort of thing. Like that's far yeah. more beneficial than comments, but that's not to say yeah. you don't comment. Like, I think comments yeah. are good as yeah. well. So, so yeah. So the reason why I say little your code of comments is because this is a interview. It's not actually production code. So the purpose is not to write like kind of lean code is to write code to demonstrate what you know. So, so having extra comments there that explains what you're mm -hmm. doing doesn't necessarily, no one's going to detract marks against you, right? In an interview, they're not going to be like, wow, this guy is like trying to explain his reduce function. Like they're not going to be like, what the hell, right? But the reverse is much more risky. It's like, I don't understand this reduce function. Yeah. I think if you're unsure yeah. of like, if at, post, if at any point you feel like your interviewer might not understand your code, add a comment, like 100%, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And readme is a very good one as well. Um, if honestly... Um, a lot of people use create, create React app. But they don't change the readme. It's so infuriating. So yeah, oh, as soon as you load it, it's like a 50 page vanilla doc that just gets generated. Yeah. And honestly, that really ticks me off because I try to run start. It better start. If it doesn't start, I have to look into package.json, check out which script is which. Is there a build mm. or a goal? Like, yeah. Just don't like, use create React not, app, okay? You use something like parcel or webpack if you have to. But like, just yeah, don't use create yeah. React app. Stop good. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, like you said, just just make sure it's well documented how to at least start the app. Um, some people deploy it. I honestly don't really care if it's deployed or not. You know, they probably deploy Heroku or something. Just like whatever. I'm just I'm gonna run it and compile it anyway. Mm. Or yeah. Um, what about on site something tech else? interview? Um, let's get to that in a second. Okay. The other thing that is crucial to never miss is unit test. Never miss unit test. No matter how much of like the suggestive nature of it. So they might say, do this task, 
it will, and it was like, we would like to see maybe some testing as well. Don't believe them, man. Just like max out your unit test. Like almost wherever necessary, 100% if possible. And even sh like show off your coverage as well with like a little, little, you know, the MD shields. Yeah, yeah, the shields, tag. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why is because um, not many places do testing very well, but everyone wants to do it very that well. That is so true. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. So if you can show that you're proficient with testing, that is that's a big plus, right? That's actually like, worth so much. That's immediately yeah. a big plus. Because then they could be like, yeah. we finally can hire a guy that we can de delegate all of our testing to. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah that or at least you QA introduce yeah. testing. Yeah. So you're you're already like seem like an important asset mm. you know yeah to bring oh, totally yeah yeah, yeah. Um, actually exactly it's yeah. actually true mm. yep yep so i find this people do make this mistake um where like they actually take the spec as literal and think testing is like uh optional thing yeah or like a if plus you, if you, no yeah. it's not a plus it's the only thing that's probably yeah, worth if, if you really want the job you should definitely do the unit test, yeah. man. Don't skip it. But what if they don't um, ask for unit tests? Because I've had tech tests. You tests still that should do it. You should still do it. You should still do it, man. Like any respectable coder has to know how to do unit test. Mm. Yeah, like it's it's ridiculous to think you can write sixty thousand line of code and keep it maintained with not much bugs without any tests. That's just like impossible. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah, we can maybe move on to on-site, I think. Oh, the other one is um, when they say two or three hours, it's not two or three hours. Spend as long as you need to actually make it good. Like, I think above 10 is like you've got to might start questioning your skill for the role. Yeah. <laughs> but but definitely, like, if they say two to three hours, I think to do a 90 to 100% kind of quality job mm. is probably more like four to five hours. Yeah. Realistically. Oh, course, yeah. In yeah, including reading the spec and stuff. Because my um, one, uh, it, it was uh, said three hours to build like a, a was it weather app or something, and I ended up spending five yeah. hours, and I was like, oh well, guess I'm a bad dev. But uh, you know, yeah. like compared to the other ones that other people did after I joined, I was like, mine is mine was way better than than their one. Like, yes, feature wise. Yeah. So. 